Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher, and today I have a review of Wolf Girl 10, The Race Is On by Ando. So this is the 10th installment in the Wolf Girl series, which is an ongoing middle grade serial adventure story. Being a serial story, the book begins where the previous book has left off on, and then also ends on a cliffhanger so that you are compelled to continue reading the series. So each ending has a reveal of its own kind. If you're unfamiliar with the Wolf Girl series, it is about Gwen who has survived her country being invaded and she has the companionship of a magical wolf and a pack of dogs giving her the title wolf girl and they all work together they're considered family she is trying to track down her parents who went missing right at the start of all of this and at the end of the previous book she had stumbled across her sister and her sister is not where she thought she would be and is doing some things that she didn't think her sister would be capable of and Gwen finds herself having to fight to save the people of a village who had helped her in a previous book by entering into a competition where teenagers are pitted against each other in a competition in order to win a wish. And all of these teens want to free or save someone that is close to them. They're pitted against each other and initially it is very much a competition, but then they quickly work out that they have to work together in order to survive and to try and thwart the, their oppressors in this book. So this is very much an action adventure story. The group have to fight their way back through the wilderness with minimal supplies. And Gwen doesn't have all of the resources and support of her animals or her allies initially, but there is some help that she gets along the way from an unlikely source. As always, this is fast paced. It has a good message in here about teamwork and about recognizing that just because someone else says that you're enemies with someone doesn't necessarily make you enemies. There's also that element of hope because Gwen is still very much fighting to find her parents, despite the fact that people are telling her that they're gone, they haven't seen them for ages. And there's the selflessness that she has in that she gives up her chance to get her parents back in order to help the greater good. So it's a very interesting ongoing series. It's one that's still very popular and Ando is very prolific in terms of the number of kids titles that come out every month. So it will be interesting to see where this story goes in the future. This book probably appeals mostly to nine to 12 year olds in terms of the story, although if they're reading and invested in the story, you could go down or up in age slightly if you needed to. So thank you very much to Alan and Unwin for this review copy. I will leave links to where you can find out more information about the book down below. If you've read the book or the series and you want to chat to me about it, feel free to do so down below. Otherwise, leave your country's flag down below because they are playing a game of capture the flag. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.